What's this song? Uncle Mikey song. Yeah, it's right there. See him? Wow, got that. <laughs> Okay. Who's that? Cheese. All right, I got it. <laughs> huh? You don't think so? I don't know. Good job, girlfriend. You got on video too. <laughs> Are you still good? <laughs> yeah. That does not affect God love her. I know how it feels. Oh, look at Matt. Matt didn't know. Matt didn't know either, did he? Tommy, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome. He's been deployed for almost a year, and he landed and came straight to the United Center. Please welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, private second classman Alex Kamka. Welcome back, welcome back. You were deployed in Camp Casey, South Korea. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for one moment, we would like to let you all know that his wife has no idea that he is home. We are going to bring it to the court the next time out, and we're going to play a cool game of hot and cold, and you guys are all participating. Are you guys ready? All right, so welcome home, and come the quarter break, we're going to reunite you with your wife. That's coming up next. We cannot wait. Welcome home, Alice Kamka, ladies and gentlemen, right here to the United Center. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have right now is a classic game of hot and cold, but what we have at stake is a lot of money. Whoever can find Benny the Bull in the fastest time will win $1,000. Let's meet our contestants. And what's your name, sir? Brendan. Brendan, where are you from? Chicago. He is from right here, Chicago. And what is your name? Karen. Karen. And Karen, where are you from? Palestine, Illinois. Okay, all right. Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to blindfold you, spin you around a few times, and then you have to stick your hands out and find Benny. Ladies and gentlemen, the louder you get and the more you cheer, that means they're getting closer. If you boo, that means you guys are walking the wrong way. You may need to switch directions, okay? All right, first up is Brendan. Let's get him blindfolded and spin him around a few times. He's going to have to find Benny. Now, Karen, you're going to get a chance to take a look at this. All right, let's go. Let's get him spun around. Here we go. And go. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, looks like he's going the right way. Keep going. Oh. All right. Looks like he found him in a very short amount of time. Karen, are you ready? All right. Here we go. She's ready. Can you see? She cannot see. All right. Let's spin her around. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Now start walking, Karen. Whoa, whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh, almost got him. Where's Benny? You're going the wrong way. Turn around, Karen, keep going. Turn around, go the other way. And looks like you got him. Take off your blindfold. Who is it? It is, ladies and gentlemen, they are reunited. Alex and Karen, fresh from deployment from South Korea, he came here to the United Center and Karen had no idea that Alex was home. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the happy couple, Alex and Karen, back to Chicago. Check again for the Memphis Grizzlies, number 30, John Lure, and for the Bulls, Number 20, Tony Snell. Number 48, Nazi Muhammad.
hear the tears of a clown. Uh, I hate that song. I always feel like they're talking to me when it comes on. Come on. Another day, another dawn. Another Keisha, nice to meet you, get the mad found club. What am I supposed to do when a club lights come on? It's easy to be pumped, but it's harder to be Some good news. Yeah. Would you like that on this Wednesday? Here's a story that might just have you grabbing the tissues, but it's a sweet one. It is. A local soldier has come home from Afghanistan, surprised his family, too. We love these stories. Take a look. Here's News H Josh Scheinblum, live in Ellington with that story. Josh? Darren and members of any family will tell you that time apart can be painful. Now imagine if there was a father who had to spend more than a year away from his children. It's a reality that members of military families live with every single day. But at least for one family in Connecticut, that's a chapter of their lives that at least for now is now over. I'm so excited to have the magician come. A day at camp can be magical. Especially when there's a magician who stopped by. Big round of applause for magician Brian Kent. At Camp Indian Valley in Ellington. It just so happens when it comes to this particular magician, he has a little more magic up his sleeve than on a normal day. What's your name? My name is Ethan. Because on this afternoon, he's being assisted by nine-year-old Ethan Christensen, a young man who isn't afraid to laugh at himself. We are going to play a game of dress up. Which is a good thing because the joke is about to be on him. After 13 months apart, he'll soon be reunited with his father, Major Timothy Christensen, and Ethan has no idea. What kind of, what kind of hat do you call that, do you know? Military hat. A military hat. Have you ever seen one like that before? Yes. All he has to do is turn around. Let me take this, let me take this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't let that touch the ground. Okay, can you give it to the guy behind you? That is also the correct rank. What? That is also the correct rank. Wow. You're going to return it to that guy behind you. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do next, do you want to just give it to that guy? <laughs> Sometimes to bring a family together, all it takes is a little magic. Hey, buddy. Ethan wasn't the only surprised Christensen in Connecticut today. His sister, Emily, was also surprised by her father at the Hartford stage. For now, we're live in Ellington. Josh Scheinblum, News 8. I want to tell you about a tearful reunion that has been months in the making. A local military dad travels halfway around the world to surprise his teenage daughter. Fox 5's Caitlin Pratt has the story. Shelby Ussery had her gloves, her shin pads. And as captain of the Thunder Soccer Club, her team spirit, all ready to go for the first game in Saturday's tournament. What the 11 year old didn't have is any idea her one holiday wish was about to come true. Shelby is a goalie. The net inside these posts is special to her. So it was fitting that one of the most special people in her life, her father, would be standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Army National Guard Sergeant Richard Ussery has been in Iraq for a year. Okay. Love you. I do. A recent ankle injury made a Christmas visit home a possibility, but. <laughs> you gotta let go. Shelby's mother, her soccer coaches were all in on the surprise. A surprise hard to hide the last few days that had to be put in place. Very careful and a lot of sneaking around where she wouldn't know what was going on. I thought she turned around once, but the coach kind of got her attention back a couple of times. <laughs> Engineered so that this father could see his daughter doing what she loves, what he's missed all season long. It's a good to see you play. It's an unexpected gift. Well, I still have tears in my eyes, so <laughs> I know it's the best for me. I don't know about her, but I can tell you it's the best for me. In Athens, Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. Precious moment. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ussery will be home for three days before he returns to Fort Hood, Texas. Now it's unclear right now when he'll be home for good. Those plans depend on whether the sergeant has to go any surgery for his ankle. <laughs>
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently everyone knew, and I didn't. Even I knew. <laughs> my name is Laura. My daughter. Yeah. My ten-year-old. You didn't tell me. Because I, I, I don't know it. Be I so know how would you feel when he said, um, can I ask you a question? I just, I don't know, I got scared. <laughs> and that's when I started back up, and he's like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even say yes. I just, I was just like, so <laughs> I was actually, we were standing up there waiting, uh, I had been talking to one of the ladies on the flight and she was like very nervous, so I was like, oh, I gotta pass out. <laughs> yeah. And um, so how did you feel when she said yes? <laughs> no, it's uh, I just wanted to be special, so I was happy she said yes. He probably wants a little rocking. Huh? He probably wants some rocking. There's a shirt of it I couldn't find last week. Okay. He probably spit it out. You never did send me a copy of the picture where Philip and Jonathan sat in my lap. I've God, I told you. 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 It's a reunion eight months in the making. An eighth grader at Legacy Middle School on the basketball court tonight gets a special surprise from his mom who's been serving in Kuwait. Our photojournalist Johnny Garcia was there for the big surprise and it was a moment this middle schooler will never forget. I'm Cortina Jenkins Sellers and this is my husband Michael Sellers. We're here today to surprise our youngest son Derek at his basketball game. I'm very excited. I just landed about an hour ago so this is really special. I appreciate you all doing this. I thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your service. He has no idea that I'm coming. I'm a little nervous. I haven't seen Derek in about eight months. I missed all the football season. Of course I couldn't be there because I was deployed. I missed the holidays. He's going to be shooting on that basket over there. So I'm just going to walk up to him. Whenever they're ready. So the plan is to call a fake tech on the coach and then we're going to have Derek go out to the line um, for two free throws, and then that's when we'll have his mom come from behind and then with the surprise. I'm nervous because I don't know what his reaction is going to be. <laughs> I'm thinking he said, Mommy, and give me a hug. You know, we're at a basketball game. His friends are here. Girls are here. Maybe he'll cry, but then he'll be mad at me. Oh, that's all right, Derek. He cried a little bit, but that's okay. That was his natural reaction. That was Derek. And that's really the reaction I thought he would have. I don't miss you. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh, okay, get rid of her. <laughs> I do.
my turn for a kiss now. <laughs>